see a few of my tools I use in the future hopefully not too far off I'll be using this air dump truck that's my uh, I can't remember what year it is 84 I think 84 or an 83 I can't remember I have to look at the tie tail 350 Chevy I Allison automatic C60 this is my 4510 gale skid steer. It's running a little rough, but it's doing pretty good right now. I got this little trailer right here I bought to haul my snow plows on. But I gotta take that fence down and get rid of it. I may hook it on the back of that and pull me a train. See if I can sneak down there and back with the three with two trailers. Bull doubles. Oops, I passed up my bought my Kubota tractors. This is my first Kubota tractor I bought. It's a B sixty one hundred E two wheel drive. It's a diesel. I think it's only like fifteen horse. Got a four foot BMB brush hog behind it. I've cut some about two inch two inch in diameter trees with it. Uh, off subject a little bit. This is my recreation. My paddle boat. I need to get it up and do a little welding on it I think. I'd like to build some lighter pontoons for it but I don't know. It does pretty good the way it is. I like that paddle boat. It's fun. But here's my box blades, a king cutter, four foot. I bought it for this tractor, but that tractor, it might, it does okay in like light gravel or something, but it does pretty good grading dirt really too with this blade, but I need to get me another blade pit for this bigger tractor I got. I got, what is this thing? I don't even remember what the numbers are on it. Let's see, it's a L3410. The tractor is, the loader is an LA. 481 which you can see for yourself hydrostat tractor that one there is a gear drive and two-wheel drive I wouldn't doubt that one would pull almost as much as this one it's pretty tough that little tractor is and the loader works pretty decent I got to get a new pump I think on that little one but this in here is pretty good I've done quite a bit of work with it you guys can go over look at my channel you'll see it me and my boy put these forks on it the other day. It did all right. Picked up a bunch of logs. But that's my tractors and my skid steer. My, one of my dump trucks. I got another skid steer in this mess over here. Which I'm going to be cleaning up now. The rest of the week I think I'm going to work at my house. I got this bobcat. Uh, not bobcat, but the backhoe that goes on that skid steer. I need to get that stuff going. Okay, old craftsman lawnmower some lady give me I got a fix. It's got a bad oil leak. Okay, and I move over here to the to the uh, lawnmowers. This is what I've been running all through 2021. Mostly 20. Well, this is this year's setup. Most of them I ran for the last couple of years too. I'll talk about them when I'm showing them to you. Okay, this little dog right here, the 21 inch, has mowed a lot of grass. It's I loaned it to my son though, and he brought it back to me. And I see, I started it up the other day. The day actually again, he bent my blade a little bit. See that blade right there? This side's pretty good. But I think that one there's bent a little. He he bent the hell out of it. He failed to mention that to me when he brought it back. But other than that, new blade it'll be good again. Starts right up on the first pull still. I got that for mowing a lady's yard four times. 
and I still mowing her. I just got done with her the, the day of doing her leaves. Okay, move on to the next one. This little cub cadet right here I bought at a on Facebook uh, auction thing. This company was selling it off. Non-profit company. It smoked for about the first ten times I used it, and then all of a sudden one day I went to start it and it didn't smoke no more. So I guess it was just the rings needing the seat. They finally seated. And then it quits smoking. It starts right up and don't smoke ever now. So now I probably need to change the oil on it. But moving on to the next one. This is, I've uh, been running this one for six years. When I started my company, I bought it at a sale. Didn't pay a whole lot for it. Cup Cadet 1436 is the number of it. It's a commercial. Got a 14 horse Kawasaki. Pool start. Belt drive. I've never had to replace the belts yet, but they're getting pretty old looking. I may have to replace those belts someday. It's made quite a bit of money. That's how many hours on this dog. 338. Where is it? 338.8 hours. It's got a five speed with reverse transmission. And they give you a workout running this thing all day. Pulling this. That's your clutches. Got one for each side. Clutch and a brake, kind of like a dozer. It's out turn skid loader or dozer. An old dozer is what the concept of it is. Out steers. I want to replace that someday with a stand on hydrostat. A stand on like a 32 or 36. Maybe I'll find one someday. I may have to buy a new one. Okay, moving on to the next one. This Husqvarna's got 795 hours on it. I just looked at it though. Uh, let's make sure what it's got. Uh, I ain't got a key. Well, maybe I do. No, I don't have a key on Yeah, maybe I do. Let's see how many hours it's got to make sure. It's got 795.7. And she's, I just mowed with it a little bit ago. I haven't mowed with it much this year, though. I've been uh, using it kind of as a backup for my other lawnmower. I got me a new uh, Ferris, which I'll get to here in a little bit. I got a 60-inch Ferris I've been using for this. This one here is a 54. But this one here still makes a better looking yard. See that deck? That stamp deck is one of the best decks I've had for striping. It's been a really good lawnmower. Transmissions work perfect in them. In it, I never have maintenance of transmissions. I don't like maintenance them. You take a risk of getting the oil where you don't want it. and You never open them up is the best thing to do. Because if they're bad, they're bad. If they're good, they're good. Alright, moving on to the next one. This uh, big old silver tip is what the model of it is, but it's a Dixon. 72 inch Dixon. And it's been a really good mower. I've had it ever since I started my business. Actually, it may have came into the second year. I think it might have been the second year. So I've had it for about five years. I put uh, 700 hours on it. I had 500 hours. It's got 1,200 hours now. A little over. But it only had uh, 700 hours when I bought it. I mean 500. Now it's got seven, 800 and something. Let me look at the thing. It's got 1,200 and something. It's got 1,265. I put 760 on there. It had right at like 495 and I bought it. So I put like 760 hours on that mower. I ain't gonna say I didn't even have to work on it though. I've had to replace the shaft and the train, I mean, in the 
mid center deck twice. The first time I had a hard time finding one because they don't make these no more. The second time I just pulled it out and it was wore. The bearing went bad and the shaft was wore, and so I just welded it back up and made it round again with a die grinder and put it back in there. But it's been good ever since. I think it made the shaft a little tougher welding on it and heating it up. But it's got a big old transmissions in it. It's got uh, it's got pumps up here and then hoses that go down here to big square uh, wheel drives like hydro stat wheel drive and things. It's like kind of like a bobcat, but it's got a lot of power. I don't know if I like it that way or not, but you got four things that each of them cost about five or six hundred bucks if you replace any of it. It's got a 27 horse Kohler on it, which I really like the Kohler engines. I didn't say what the the Husqvarna has a 26 horse Kohler. It's a it's a been a good mower too. It's been both of them's been good. I've had to replace the oil seal. And this one, that's the only thing I've had to do to it. And I think it, they're both almost needing to have new, uh, new, uh, like, uh, gosh dang it, coils. They both, I know they both need coil, new coils, but sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. So I don't know what that is. Okay, moving on. We'll skip all these. I want to shut up for a minute and let these people lie. Okay, moving on to the next one. This is a 42 inch walker, which I put about 300 bucks a year into it since I've owned it. Only good thing about it, I didn't have to pay much when I first bought it. But. I've been running it pretty hard here lately. I've done a lot of yards this year with it. Let me tell you what I did with this lawnmower the first that year I had it. The gearbox inside, and oh, I'll just pop it up and show you. It's a big, big freaking mess in here. Here's your, your motor. 16 horse core. I don't know, it's some kind of platinum or something they call it, but this gearbox right here when I bought it was turned around the wrong way and the pulleys were you can put the pulleys on either what side but it was flipped up backwards when I bought it so I had to turn that one up so turn it the right way what it, had, what it did it made the blades run backwards that's all it did some reason if you flip it over then this is all running the different direction I don't know how it works that way but it don't seem like it would I don't really make sense but anyway uh, Let's see what else I do to this thing. Oh yeah, that's not that's that's this air still runs the same. This runs the opposite way if you flip it over. Yeah, that's what it does. This was running backwards. My blower was running backwards. I don't even see how it was blowing anything up in the. It did blow stuff up in there. But I don't see how. Because look, that thing be going that way. If you flip that over, it's gonna be going that way. It was weird. And it made the blades run backwards. It's like they were trying to make it not suck up grass. So it runs pretty good and does a good job now. Except when I first was running it, I learned a lesson about keeping a clean air breather. Because I let this get real dirty. When I was mulching leaves. And the air going in your carburetor also cools your engine because that's what happened to this one it got it got overheated 
blow my rod. I busted my 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 rod. So this in here's got a new piston and rod I put in it myself it, like three years ago. I'm surprised it's still running. I thought I put it in backwards when I got done. I said, dang it. Because I was watching a guy do it before. I mean, after I did it on the internet. And I didn't really pay attention to what the hole on the rod that greases the... <laughs> I really didn't pay attention to the way I was putting my rod in and stuff. I must have done it right, though, because she's still running. I mean, it fires right up. It sets out here for a months at a time, and then I go get it to use it, and it fires up. So, I must have done something right. So, uh, well, that's, any, that's all there is on that one. It's going to get a good bath and a good greasing, though, because she did make me some money this year. I have to say that. Okay, here's a lawnmower I got a good deal on. This one right here. This is my newest one. I bought. Actually, it's not my newest one, but it's one I bought. It's my newest lawnmower, probably, but I bought another one. That's almost, uh, they're about the same year. I bought a grasshopper. It's in my garage. I've been, I'll show it to you, but it's in pieces still. I gotta finish working on it. This is a 60 inch Ferris. As you can see, it's an IS700Z, which I don't know what that means. Independent suspension in the back, I think is what that is. It's just in the back though, the front's not. Independent suspension. Uh, it's got 300 hours right at. I bought it at 20, around 25 hours, I think. I bought it this year. I put uh, 250 hours on it since I bought it. But I've uh, been mulching leaves with it and running the heck out of it, actually. It's probably due for a service. It's got a Briggs & Stratton 27.0, which I don't know for sure if that's the horsepower. Yeah, it says gross horsepower at 3,600 RPM. It's 27.0. Huh. 810 cc's. That's pretty big. I that might be bigger than my coolers. That's bigger than the one on my lawn, my blue one. It ain't got the power though. It's probably the belt design. Because that uh, Dixon's got two belts on the uh, deck. And it's a, ball, it's a beast. It'll mow some grass. So that's my setup I've been using this year. I made uh, pretty good money, I would guess. I bought all these lawnmowers and paid my bills. And I think I got enough to pay my taxes and I'll be broke again. I'll start over next year. <laughs> so that's what it is. Okay, I'm in the shop now. I'm going to show you my last lawnmower that I got. This baby right here. <laughs> this grasshopper is my... I bought it's a 52 inch can't really see what it is too good because I got it all tore apart get ready to pull that motor the rest of the way off and uh, let's see if I can see it's a okay it's a 126 grasshopper Duramax 52 inch professional deck it's a pretty good lawnmower I mowed with it a little bit and I noticed it had a bad oil leak. It's only got 200 hours on it. Does it have headlights? No lights. It looks like it's got a big enough uh, wiring system there to run some maybe some LEDs. I'll put some LEDs on it. They don't use much power. Yeah. That's what that Husky Barn has got. LED light in the front. I can't wait to get this one going because this one here is going to be uh, this one here is a lot it's twice as fast as that Husqvarna but it's about the same it's the 52 and that's a 54 I'm going to put this one 
I'm gonna try to make me two setups for next year. So anyway, that's my uh, lawnmowers. I just thought I'd show you what I used this summer. And I got me a nice haircut. I'm gonna grow a little bit longer in the back. Gonna be professional in the front. And a uh, wild grandpa in the back. <laughs> But, uh, bad grandpa in the back. I'd rather like lose some wild things. No, anyway, I'm getting out. Carried away there. Got some maintenance on every one of those machines. We're going to go through them. And we're going to fix what's wrong with them. And get them all fixed up. And that'll probably keep me busy. I got that in my dump trucks to fix up. That's what we're going to start working on. And then I got a couple weeks worth of paperwork I had to do real fast. But but uh, I'll do a little bit of this, a little bit of that. And then that would be the way it is. The Lord loves working, man. Remember that.